Assalamu alaikum everyone. Here's a cool question from the Gulf tour. I read the Quran, but I don't understand Arabic, so I don't get anything out of reading the Quran. Shouldn't I just be reading in English? And then these people tell you you have to memorize the Quran, there's so much reward for memorizing the Quran. And there's so many hufad out there that memorize the Quran and they don't even understand what it means. Shouldn't we be telling people to read the Quran instead of memorizing it? And you know what? As I heard this question, I realized something. Uh, to every action, there's an e equal but opposite reaction. We have an extreme in this community. We have on the one hand people that want to emphasize the memorization of the Quran and not emphasize understanding at all. The, you just become a trophy once you memorize and you are going to lead taraweeh and you're going to be reciting beautifully and people are going to be saying what an awesome tajweed and qira'ah you have and you have no concept of what's being said. That is one extreme. And that extreme gives birth to the other extreme that says, you know what, these people, they're just reciting it for no purpose and they're just making, you know, this, this uh, these beautiful sounds, but what's the actual message? We should forget about memorization. We should focus all of our energies on reading and understanding. And you know what this is? These are two extremes. The truth, and usually these kinds of things, lies somewhere in the middle. And for so many questions people ask, I realize more and more and more that they're actually a reaction to another extreme that makes them want to justify the opposite extreme and not consider the answer lies in the middle, right? The answer is at the end of the day, memorizing Quran is one of the most spiritually enriching and powerful uh, you know, acts that we can do. Memorizing the Quran is actually fulfilling the legacy of the Prophet himself sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bal huwa ayatun bayyinatun fi sudur al ladheena utul ilm one of the most beautiful ayat in surah al kabut describes that the ayat of the Quran live in the chests of those who believe the ayat don't live on pieces of paper the ayat don't live inside a mushaf the, the, the place the ayat are stored in this world are inside the chests of believers it's an amazing thing to say and so i want more and more of those ayat in my chest i want to memorize as much of them as i can you know, and that's, that's something that you should struggle with and want for yourself. Why wouldn't you want to memorize Qur'an if your parents are going to be raised with crowns on their head on Judgment Day if you memorize the Qur'an? On the one hand, we should be memorizing the Qur'an, and on the other hand, the Qur'an complains itself. Don't they reflect deeply on the Qur'an or are their hearts made up, locked up? So reflection on the Qur'an and memorizing Qur'an are actually hand in hand. And let me add some more, one more thing. This is the balance of our religion, guys. This is where things really, it's so epic. These two things are not mutually exclusive. When I memorize the Qur'an, I'm repeating the same ayah. Yes or no? Over and over. I'm repeating the same ayah. And the more I'm repeating it, the more I'm thinking about it. And the more I'm thinking about it, more realizations come to my head. Reflection is actually facilitated by the act of memorization. That's how it's facilitated. Then you recite Qur'an with Tajweed. And you, when, what, what Tajweed does is that you give every letter its due, and you pause, and you take your time with every single word. Which means it slows you down, doesn't it? Tajweed slows you down. And when it slows you down, your mind is not just pronouncing every word like you should, it's giving your mind the opportunity to think about every word, instead of brushing through the whole thing and not giving each word, letting each word have its effect on you. Even the science of Tajweed actually ful fulfills the purpose of thinking and reflecting on the Qur'an. That's what it's there for. This stuff is so interconnected. What we have done is, we have ripped it apart. I just want to read English translation, or I just want to study tajweed and not reflect. SubhanAllah. This is, this is the things that Allah commands to keep, or meant to keep together, and we keep you know, putting them apart. So the answer really lies at the end of the day in balance. When you have one extreme, it will certainly lead to the other extreme. May Allah Azza wa Jal keep us from extremes and truly allow us to be the middle ummah, ummatan wasata. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.